Hello and welcome to Florian Models Kit View Time. Today we've got something new. We've got the 172nd Armour Hobby Hurricane. This is the Mark I Navy. There is a few other versions we'll talk about in a second which are roughly the same kit. Okay, so first of all, just to explain, Armour Hobby do two types of this kit. They do, and I've got it next to me over here, what they call the Expert Set and they do the standard. The difference between the expert set and obviously the standard is the expert one comes with a little bit of photo etch and a mask set as well. That's the only two things you get. Um, this one here is one of the normal ones which make our way through. Anyway, quick run around on the box as you can see. Beautiful box art to be honest. Nice marking sound in there as well. You can see, quite simplistic. Uh, kit number for this one is 70022. Okay, and then down on the back here, We've got very nice ones with the three different markings down in here as well. So we see these are the uh, Navy ones. So uh, technically it's all the Fleet Air Arm uh, ones down in here. So I'm just seeing where the ones. Yes, that's the ones down in there. Okay. So in the box you are greeted by one pack. Okay. And then straight forward into here. Now, full disclaimer, I have looked in here once before purely yesterday when I did it as part of a live show to explain how I do reviews. Okay, you can see that one. If you go back to the uh, 12th of May's live show, you can see it down in there. Okay, so starting off with, we've got uh, the main wheel well, okay, down in here. So obviously this bolts together up into the actual uh, top part of the wing section. It's got like a cross beam is in here and it sits on the top. It's talking about putting the gear in right now. Um, be interesting to see how that actually works out if you can put it in a little bit later, because obviously you might break it off at this part. Okay. Okay, we do get decals as well for the actual harnesses. So it's talking about those being fitted down in there. And then obviously the decals for the instrument panel as well with those being fitted on. We've got great interior details, especially when you think this is only a 70 second scale kit. So we've actually got some framework down in there. Uh, you've got your trim wheels, the various throttles, things like that as well being fitted down in there. On to the other side, rudder pedals, obviously a full floor, the control stick as well being fitted into that one. And then obviously two halves going together, putting it on. Then the usual thing, lower wing assembly, just coming up fuselage going on top part and the actual rudder okay being fitted down into that one gear going on we've got radiator system being fitted onto this one those are being fitted in oil cooler the lights being fitted the uh, exhaust going on there and then obviously the spinner being fitted popped together and then obviously depending if you're having open or closed canopy you've got a slightly different design on those ones and that being put in color call outs obviously down in here and obviously for your stencil data for the various fleet air arm markings as you can see and they are very very nice indeed as we saw on the back of the box art and some of the other kits that are available uh, that they do at the moment looks absolutely fantastic so starting off with if we just uh, I'll tell you what let's have a look at the decals first so on the decals we actually have as you can see beautifully printed very very nice carrier film with these ones actually very nice the only thing is i'm not too sure about these uh the ones for the instrument panel they look a little bit faint and very very thin again this is because of the scaling issue i think but generally they were okay we've got the patches for covering up the guns as well walkway markings things like that and then you've got your trestle stencil data down in here you've got the tips as well if you wanted to as well for the two types of props um so those being fitted down in there if you want to do it that way the harnesses again a little bit thin in this scale uh, and things like that but generally I have to say the actual uh, all the markings beautifully printed good solid color right the way through no problem with that at all okay so into the kit parts as I say you've only got this one sprue really and then another little sprue for the different spinners and tail so straight off the bat looking down in here you can see the quality of this kit is amazing great detail this plastic has been totally polished smooth it's got a very nice satin finish to it as you can see and the panel lines are beautifully done the riveting detail where it's got it for the latches and things like that beautifully done in this scale and actually we've got a little bit as you can see the stress skin over the control surfaces i have to say in this scale it's absolutely fantastic and then literally working your way around in these areas you see we've got the framework down inside the cockpits and the various ones the radiator We've got the trop front down in here. This version doesn't actually have it, but it's on the sprue. Uh, the two different types of props. So we've got the pointy prop and we've got the curved off prop as well. The main gear, the top part of the wing, as you can see, catch it in the light. You've actually got the, the latches for the actual gun bay and the armaments. 
Uh, okay, so they are absolutely fantastic down in there as well. Looking at the fuselage, really nice attention to detail with this sort of stress skin right the way over this one. And then obviously all the parts again, very, very nicely done all around. And again, the detail goes right the way around to the edges. It doesn't sort of fade off or anything else like that. That wheel well, again, really nice detail down in there. And on the other side, you can see we don't have any ejector pins or anything else like that in there. Same with the gear. So we've got no ejector pins down in here in the gear areas or anything else like that. And internally you've got a little bit more detail down in here. But again, a sign of the quality of the part, the polished mold even on the blind side. Very, very nice indeed. Ejector pins all out of the way. They're not anywhere that are going to make any problems whatsoever. And again, we've got a nice system down in here. So you could have some movement in the tailplanes. So that's quite nice. And again, all the various details down up on the side. And again, we've actually got the uh, area. And again, what you can make out from the instrument panel doesn't look too bad whatsoever. So generally, I have to say, that's very, very nice indeed. Again, this is probably one of the different ones with these sprues as well for some of the parts. So we've actually got the gorgeous stressed uh, fabric uh, over the top of the formers down there on the actual tail and rudder so that's quite nice different types of spinners for the different versions that are out there so we've got those in there weight on wheels and we do have bulged as well so they're not just flattened off that's really nice and the tail wheel the seat okay no problem with that either very nice and we've got this sort of intake lip on here at the bottom very nice there is a small sink mark but you don't see that that's in a blind area so it's not actually going to be seen by anything Last up, we've actually got the clear parts. And again, these are absolutely crystal clear. Again, you've got a little bit of distortion, obviously, in the main canopy parts for open and close. But to be honest with you, in this scale, it's notoriously difficult. They are going to be a little bit thick, but this is 70 second. And with the limitations of modern injection molding, you can only go so thin before it becomes a mess. Uh, so there's nothing wrong with those. And again, we've got the wing lights. Uh, we've got, obviously, the navigation lights, things like that as well. So very, very nicely done. And there you have it. I have to say, it's the first time I've seen these kits to, over the last couple of days, and I am blown away by the amount of detail and the sheer quality of the entire mold, okay? They look absolutely fantastic, right the way from the decals, the instructions, and all the areas. It'd be nice to see the other ones with the mask set as well, because again, it's a little bit softly molded on these edges uh, for the actual framework, so it might be a little bit difficult to do your own mask, get the burring in there and stuff like that. So a mask set might be a simple and easy fix for that one if you want to take a bit of a shortcut again they do some great versions i got them down in here so obviously they do the standard hurricane this is obviously in the navy colored hurricane they do the mark ii c as well uh, and then they do the uh which one's that one they do the trop version as well mark ii c trop so that one has got does come in the kit already but has got the bigger cooler uh underneath as well uh, and it looks like they also do a ts uh 11 iskra uh as well so there's those ones again Price-wise, £12. And actually, I think for the quality of the kit of this one, it is absolutely fantastic. Definitely be one of those must-have kits. If you're doing 70 second, looking at hurricanes and things like that, to me, that's your go-to kit without a shadow of a doubt. A couple of people I know have built this one as well, and they've reported back to me. It's brilliant. It's a beautiful kit. Fantastic. I've got no complaints with it going together whatsoever. So really, what more can you ask? As always, it is available through the PM store. So if you want to go and grab it for there, it is up at 11 dollars if you want to get it from us so there we go that is the armor hobby a beautiful 172nd hawker hurricane mark one